subscribe now. EU debates. Today is the 60th anniversary of the common agricultural、uh, policy, but we're celebrating、uh, the farmers,、uh, the men and women who take care of their land, take care of their animals, and produce uh, uh, products uh, increasingly sustainably uh, and uh, working towards greater innovation. We like to recognize their hard working efforts、uh, over the past few years, thus ensuring that. Our foods uh, uh,、um, were on the shelves, and there was no want.、Uh, and we hope that, that it will not be possible、uh, to stop that.、Uh, but let me just take this opportunity on all of our behalf. Thank you, thank you to our farmers. They deserve praise. They deserve our recognition. And of course,、uh, that's something that's very close to our hearts. Liebe Kollegen, dear colleagues, when the CAP was started 60 years ago, we saw the signs of war and suffering and destruction visible everywhere. Many people were hungry; they knew hunger all too well. And、uh, during these uh, periods, uh, uh, we, we've left that far behind now. But now the war in Ukraine shows us that our European freedom is. Something that you could, cannot just take for granted. The situation today, of course, cannot be compared、uh, with what happened 60 years ago when the CAP was founded.、Uh, the objectives、uh, were quite different.、Uh, we wanted、uh, to、um, make it possible to have food available at fair prices、uh, and to promote agricultural productivity, stabilizing markets, and it was all about、uh, a decent revenue、uh, for the agricultural population. These objectives,、uh, dear colleagues, remain. They were valid then, but they are at the very heart of the common agricultural policy. And yet, we've now added new challenges, such as the fight against climate change、uh, or the loss of diversity. Today is a matter of striking a balance、uh, between the economic, social, and environmental objectives of、uh, the common agricultural policy. So, colleagues. The danger of a supply crisis、uh, is standing at our doorstep in Europe,、uh, and I'm not just referring to Ukraine. I particularly think of our neighbor,、uh, North Africa. Putin is upsetting the world、uh, and is trying to withhold、uh, its wheat. So we need to act swiftly to ensure food security, sustainability, affordability of. Decent food to be ensured in the future. Sixty years—it's a period.、Uh, well, in some parts of uh, uh, Europe, of course, uh, uh, we're allowed uh, uh, not to, to prosper, and we still hear voices uh, that uh, uh, want the same for the common agricultural policy. Sometimes. It becomes a heavy thought、uh, in times of crisis,、uh, but we've seen that the CAP works. It does what it is there for. The idea has become clear. We've managed to act quickly and to send targeted assistance where it's needed, with the Commissioner reacting to the Russian aggression in Ukraine, given the risks for. Supply security. We were able to take measures、uh, to ensure production in 20 to 25, even increasing. The same is what we're going to have to do in 2024 and 2025. What we've promised,、uh, we need to now act on making it happen. That is our objective,、uh, so that in the next years we create the conditions、uh, so that 2023、uh, will also be a decent.、Uh, Supply and for our food security and for our close neighbours,、uh, we should be able to manage that. Colleagues, you quite rightly pointed out. Some colleagues have come in their traditional、uh, costumes, not just、uh, to present themselves,、uh, but also to represent our regions,、uh, to express our unity through diversity, which we have. Visible now in the plenary, I thank colleagues who have taken the effort、uh, 
to come uh, with uh, their uh, local uh, uh, costumes. Please stand up uh, so that uh, we can further appreciate uh, the significance of this diversity in our house. Unity through diversity and in agriculture we have uh, different agricultural structures uh, in different parts of Europe. Uh, we can express that. Uh, thank you for your kind attention. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Linz. Uh, the debate on this item is now closed.